What's kicking you all? Quick Panic here, and I am back with some Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, and today I'm joined by my friend Pizzy. What's up, guys? Yo, so, it's been a while since uh, since I played some Duel Links, and uh, Pizzy texted me this morning, had a super cool deck uh, that he wanted to show off, so we're going to talk a little bit about that, but the big deal right now, one of the reasons that I wasn't playing so much uh, the past couple weeks is because Fur Hire has been like the only way to compete online and uh you know there's just not a whole lot of uh differences in the deck when you see other people play it so like there's there's not a whole lot of opportunity for tech so it was kind of got stale um in addition to that konami has kind of like forsaken their players and cut down on the number of gems they were giving out so you know there's just been a little bit of frustration but um after i started playing this deck i actually uh, i really feel like playing so um busy and i are going to talk a little bit about that first though uh there were some uh there were some ban list changes that were announced sorry i call it ban list because you know tcg um but there's a skill rebalancing and there's a forbidden uh limited list implementation and we have a couple changes here um we have limited to one which means uh you can only use one card uh with this name in your deck it also means in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links that you can only use one limited card at a time so if Dyna is limited and uh what's another limited card busy beats that guy to me uh champions vigilance so Tekani. not the... uh, <laughs> there you go uh if you wanted to run uh dakini or uh dyna you'd have to choose between one you couldn't run one and one um in this game limited means you only get to use one copy of a one per uh one card per deck card um so uh, that doesn't really mean anything for for hire because you weren't running anything else that was on the limited list so Dino went to one, which is like the muscle of the deck. There's not a whole lot else you could do. Um, you always ran beat down in the deck and you had Dyna and you had Wiz, who were the level five star higher monsters. Um, Dyna also had like a little soft lock because if you had two of him on the field, your opponent couldn't target either of them for attacks, which kind of blew. Um, so how do you feel about him going to one, Fizzy? Uh... I mean, with the skill rework on beatdown, I think I think it's gonna hurt the consistency of the deck a lot. Uh, yeah. But but Dyna, it was just a strong it was strong to go beat Dyna turn one because then it gives you a guaranteed like turn again, even if you're playing against another for higher deck. So I think it's yeah. I think it's a good change. Plus the attack redirection. If they if they were forced to get rid of Dyna first and they only had one attack, uh, that meant next turn that you could use Beat's effect again uh, when you when you special something off of them. So it was, uh, that's a minor caveat to it, but uh, interesting touch. Um, it does hurt the deck. Uh, you usually ran two of these, so now you're down to one. Um, next up on the semi-limited list. Now, just to reflect on semi-limited lists, uh, right now we have uh, Donpa, who's being added to it. But prior to this, Enemy Controller was the last major addition to the semi-limited list, which means that for hire is going to have to find something to replace their Enemy Controllers. Um, because Donpa is now at two, and you definitely want Donpa because he gets to pop a face-up monster when uh, another for hire special summon to your side of the field. So that's a pretty good hit. What do you think about that, Pizzy? Uh, I think I think that's the better of the two changes because the, them having access to Econ along with all the little monsters was really really frustrating to play against. So. Yeah, totally agree. Um, so the fact that Tom Donpa went to two is a, a big deal, I think. Um, I would have preferred to see like beat to one Don put it to because they, they actually made a change to to the beat down mechanic which we're gonna get to in a little bit um, and then the other hit was Amazon is baby tiger uh, I'm not sure how I feel about that like you're definitely not gonna run it now because you already have uh, onslaught at two so Amazon is baby tiger is just gone <laughs> it was yeah, good I yeah, a lot of a lot of the Amazonas decks have been playing against. Don't even play it anymore. So. Yeah, no, there's no reason to play it because the the continuous trap card is infinitely more useful. Um, it was kind of irritating because Amazonas Baby Tiger could be brought back, and that would force your opponent to battle with it, which would force Onslaught's effect. So it's um, interesting hit. I don't know. I it, mean, people playing Teo with Holy Guard were abusing Baby Tiger, but that's the only situation I saw getting used in. Yeah. Um, so interesting. <laughs> a lot of people are just like, well, bye, Felicia, we're done with this. Uh, so Donpa, good hit. Dinah, interesting hit, but what what do you think? What would they... How would you feel if they'd put Wiz to one instead of Dinah? 
uh, then I don't know. Like I felt that for hire already had a good like way to get rid of all their like prom cards, like mm -hmm. spells, traps with recon, or if they're face up, they can use Dompa on them. So I, I do think Wiz should have went to one over Dyna. Yeah. But Agreed. because it was annoying that they could just sit on a Wiz with 2800 defense because 2800 defense That's is massive. Is yeah, especially with the change to beatdown. But uh, I mean, Wiz is still kind of easy to deal with sometimes. It just kind of depends on what deck you're playing. Yeah. Especially if you're playing Amazonas a lot, you can just hit the take the damage but you just run it off the board with with onslaught so true, true. or force them to burn their hand and not let it get run off the board by onslaught so so what okay here's another another question so i i agree with dina or wiz to one i think wiz should have gone to one also um semi limit if they had done donpa and beat too much or appropriate uh too much if they did donpa and recon that would have been that would have been oh, better. Oh, okay. But, like, I think they still want people to play for higher, but if they do, like, God put and beat to uh, the semi limited list, uh, that'd make the deck pretty much unplayable. Yeah. Because so, you'd have to run one and one, and you'd have to draw them, so that would, they wouldn't do that. Yeah. Well, interesting, interesting. Uh, those are the only card changes. Um, there's actually another skill rebalance. And at, at this point, where they're changing all these skills so much, I have no clue what a good skill is anymore because all the good ones got like throttled. Um, so when I'm choosing a skill for my deck, uh, a lot of the time it's like I have no clue. There's like not not just one generic one that you always go to. Um, so here's another one, Beatdown, uh, which was like a Kaiba and Crowler special. Um, they changed Beatdown and they made it so that uh, the attack of all level five or higher phase up monsters on the field increased by the number of monsters of level five or higher monsters uh, times 300. And so that means the the babies are not getting uh, affected. So like level four and lower are not getting affected anymore. How do you feel about that one, Busy? Uh, I thought Beatdown should have gotten a rework way back in the day. Yeah. When, uh, like Red Eyes was, in was Hazy? a really good deck. With yeah, Hazy, that was irritating. Yeah, because Hazy would guarantee get 600 attack bonus to both the monsters they have on the board. So it was... It, <laughs> I'm not upset about the beatdown getting reworked at all, so no. I, think it's a, I think it's a good change for the game. Yeah, so this do, it makes it not one of those skills where it's just like, oh, I'm using Kaiba, automatically use beatdown. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a change here real quick. I feel like the uh, music is a little bit loud in the background. There we go. Uh, but a quick cap on, on beatdown. Uh, the skill I've seen people u using as like a replacement to beatdown is they... <laughs> Annoyingly enough, they've been using ties that bind, and that's really annoying because then they get boosted by the little guys too. So all your guys could get three. You can have three little guys on the board; they all can get boosted by three hundred. Yeah, it's it's one hundred points each for ties, right? Yeah, for each yeah. monster on the board. You're, each of your monsters on the board. Yeah. Question. So well, you just use Yugi Mudo, and uh, who's the other one that gets it? Uh, Jesse, right? Je Jesse Anderson. I think I thought someone else got it, but I don't know off the top of my head. Hmm, me either. Anyway, let's get into this really cool deck we were talking about. Um, so at first, it looks like a hot, hot mess. <laughs> like if it, if you don't know anything about uh, these cards, it looks like a hot, hot mess. Um, but it's a really cool deck. And at first, I was like, I don't know if this ability is necessary, but it totally gets things going and it has a lot of uh, multiple effects. So I'm going to talk about my experience with it, but Pizzy built it and uh, I'll let him talk on the matter afterwards and correct anything that I've said or uh, fill any gaps uh, that I have uh, created. So we're running two Silent Magician level eight, uh, one Jinzo because, you know, there's only one in the game, three regular Silent Magicians, three Crystal Beast Sapphire Pegasus, we got one Lila, three Gravekeeper's Recruiter, two Cyclone, I like that touch, Pizzy, and uh, then we got three Silent Burning, which is a broken card, and three Crystal Raigeki. So... Right now, you can see like this kind of soft lock with Silent Magician level 8 and Jinzo, no spells, no traps. That's pretty cool. Um, honestly, I haven't gotten Jinzo out yet using this deck because there's not a whole lot of like free tribute fodder. Um, but you have Gravekeeper's Recruiter who you'd like to draw on turn one with one of these babies, Silent Magician. And uh, when you tribute him to Special Summon Silent Magician, you get to search the deck for another Gravekeeper's Recruiter. He can search himself, which is excellent. You don't have to worry about any dead pieces that you're drawing. Um, for just to have fodder for Gravekeeper's Recruiter's uh, effect. So, uh, Silent Magician is part of the meta. We all know what its effect does. And uh, moving on to the next monster over here, we have Crystal Beast Sapphire Pegasus. 
and uh, you use it to get a crystal Raigeki or to make a crystal Raigeki live. So summon Sapphire Pegasus, get another Sapphire Pegasus, put in the spell and trap zone. And then all of a sudden we have crystal Raigeki live, which is fantastic because it's disruption on your opponent's turn. It's very easy to set up um, because you also have transcendent crystals. So transcendent crystals lets you send a card from your uh, hand, well, up, up to three, but usually only do one, uh, to add a crystal beast monster from your deck to the spell and trap zone as a continuous spell. Uh, you have Lila because it's a spellcaster, right, Pizzy? Nothing, I'm sp right. nothing special. Okay, so it's just a, a really, a really good utility spellcaster that you can use to tribute for Silent Magician when you need to. We went over Grave Creepers Recruiter, um, Cosmic Cyclone for Onslaught, I assume, and I've seen some people playing Sea Stealth Attack for some reason. I think that has to do with that Guns Blazing video. But uh, what other utility for Cosmic Cyclone? Anything? Nope. Those, yeah. Literally those two traps. Yep. Yep. And or then, to like, uh -huh. or to just like banish a trap that's on the board. Yeah. Or banish yeah. A and, on the board. End phase, get rid of something, make a big push. Um, this is really cool because Silent Burning has some uh, utility with Transcendent Crystals. You can activate Transcendent Crystal on turn one. Uh, discard a Silent Burning, and it helps you search for a Silent Magician in case you didn't start with it. Say you started with Recruiter and Silent Burning looks like a bad combo of cards, but use Transcendent Crystals. Send your Silent Burning to the graveyard. You get your Crystal Beast Sapphire Pegasus to the field, making your Crystal Raigeki live. You get to search your Silent Magician. It's just a great time. You have Spell uh, Disruption, so you can negate a spell once per turn with Silent Magician. And you have the added effect that when it gets destroyed by battle or card affecting special summon, this massive monster with 3,500 attack points. Um, so Spell and Trap Disruption right here with Jinzo, Silent Magician. Uh, you can just pop a fur hire monster uh, with Crystal Raigeki or any card. It's any card, which is great. Um, and then you have this OTK potential of Silent Burning. As long as you have more cards in your hand than your opponent during the battle phase, you can activate this. You both draw to six, and that immediately puts Silent Magician up to 4,000. And in this game, how many life points do you have, Pizzy? 4,000. Oh, my Lanta. That's, your, that's the entire game right there. Uh, and it gets a free negate, so you can't get like rush reckless or super rush headlonged, rush recklessly. <laughs> hey, I played that. No, oh man, it. I played that back in the day. <laughs> um, so I think this is a super fun deck. If you're tired of playing for hires and uh, you want to play something fun, this is consistent. It disrupts the meta decks, and uh, it comes out of left field. This isn't something that you totally expect. Do you have anything else to add to that, Busy? Uh, shout out to Japan for giving me like the skeleton of this deck. I I tweaked some of it because of like crap I was running into on the ladder. But uh, the only thing that this deck, the only deck this deck, sorry, that sort of had a problem against was on what was like onslaught dot deck. Yeah. So that's why you see the Jinzo and the Cosmics in the deck. I I don't remember what I was running in their place, but yeah no uh if you can get basically if you can get silent magician and somehow get jinzo out at the same time your opponent literally can't win the game so it's like it's just been really consistent and fun it, and like you were saying it was like a super uh like refreshful deck to play on ladder because it really d gives for higher like a huge problem because silent magician basically they're gonna bring out donpa and they're gonna pop, pop silent magician and it's like all right well you remove that to have this 3500 guy on the board now and then if you manage to get another one out, they pretty much just can't win the game because you're gonna you're gonna shell out two thirty five hundreds and you're gonna pop their or you're gonna run over their little guys to beat them for game. Dude, it, um, it was it was super cool because even when I was playing, just starting with a Crystal B Sapphire Pegasus and a Crystal Raigeki, it was just like beat down for game, <laughs> just like eighteen eighteen, and they can't summon a monster that sticks on the field, especially with fur hire, so they have no follow up play. Oh man, yeah, it's fun. Uh, it's worth noting, like, this is an effect I didn't even real realize with Crystal Beast Sapphire Pegasus, is that it can dig monsters out of the graveyard, too. Yeah, so it's I noticed like, that while I was playing, too. <sighs> I was like, oh, dang it, I'm out of targets. And I was like, summon and activate effects. And I was like, I guess. And then it was like, how about this one in the grave? Like, okay, cool. Yeah, because there was a time where I had, like, multiple Cursor Gekis, and I only had two, access to two, or sorry, one in my graveyard. And I don't remember, the other one, like, one was, like, removed or something. And so I was able to get it back out of the graveyard with the third one in my hand. So, uh, Chris, I, did, I, I, like, knocked on Chris Rogeki when he got released originally because I didn't think it'd be really relevant at all. But <laughs> in this particular instance, it's, like, a super awesome card for this deck. It, I really enjoy playing this deck so much. Yeah, it's a nice mini engine. I really like it. And Transcendent Crystals really 
makes it a lot more viable because even if you don't start with a crystal beast sapphire pegasus uh you can get one to to the spell and trap zone which is all that matters for crystal regeki and then you can just continue playing with your silent magician engine at the same time yeah and it's funny because if you draw like multiple gravekeepers recruiters you can use that to to set up your your transcendent crystals too that's i've had to do that a few yeah. times or if you draw like three <laughs> there's been an instance where i've drawn three silent magicians so i Whoa. use one of those to do it so <laughs> i mean like bricky hands do happen it's not like i'm gonna say out of probably like the 80 games i played with this deck i've probably bricked like five or less times so yeah you can the fact that you can thin your deck like almost i think i've thinned it as much as six cards on the first turn in a 20 card deck uh is like super awesome because then it gives you gets you to draw in cards like Jinzo or Cosmic Cyclone if you need it, and so it's like, or your more Crystal Regekis. So it's just I didn't I looked at this at first when I started playing. I didn't know how consistent it would be, but it, especially if you open up with multiple Silent Burnings in your opening hand, like it's it's really really good. The deck the deck has a lot of utility, even though it doesn't it looks like it's like super straightforward. Uh, it's really easy to mess up the plays. I've done it a few times actually, where I was like, crap, this was actually a way better play, but I can't go back <laughs> and change it now. So. It's just a, like a refreshing change. If, I think, although unfortunately, I think with the for higher nerfs, that's going to make Amazonas more popular, and this deck really yeah. struggles against that deck. But I beat like four Amazonas players in a row because I just ripped Jinzo off the top of my deck, and <laughs> they, they were just really upset because they couldn't do anything anymore. So, yeah, I think it's fun. I think it's definitely worth at least trying if you have access to all the cards. Yeah, I just I realized that, standing or sitting here that it's ultra, 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 ultra. ultra well, it's not super. even that. It's it's the uh, the three silent magicians are in the structure deck, so it's like yeah. if you didn't buy it, then you know, then you don't have it. But uh, you would get access to literally two thirds of the, or yeah, almost a the third whole deck. of the deck. Yeah, yeah the, all the silent magicians and then the three silent burnings are all in the structure deck. But if you're looking for something fun or refreshing to play. I definitely, I can't believe I actually made it to King of Games with this deck, but when I kept drawing Jinzo against Amazonas, <laughs> it was like, it was like, GG. it was like, it was like destiny that I did. So. <laughs> oh man, totally agree. Super fun deck. I know Pizzy's got to get out of here, but uh, we'll keep bringing out the videos whenever we have ideas. We were trying to do it every week, but you know, life happens and uh, hope you guys are still enjoying the content. Do you have any closing remarks, Pizzy? Um, I'm just excited to see what the next box is going to be before Kyber Cup. Yes, uh, I think it'll have a huge, huge impact. We didn't really talk about the new um, event that's going on right now because I don't think it released anything relevant. Nope. Oh, but um, yeah. It's a doo-doo event with doo-doo rewards. <laughs> Totally agree. Anyway, we're going to get the heck out of here. If you have not already, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this kind of content. Like the video and leave a comment down below and let us know what you'd like to see in the next video. Give us some ideas. We'll talk about it. Uh, anyway, that's all we got for today. Hope you guys have an awesome day. Later. Peace.